ericmoadetmother.com for the weekend of December 12th and December 13th, 2015. Let's take a look at markets here. Take a look at how Asian market closed on Friday. And looks like a pretty much a mixed bag. Uh, China was down slightly. Japan was up. Hong Kong was down about 1%. And it's pretty much mixed bag. Let's take a look at European markets at the close of Friday. We see Friday was a pretty much a down session for European markets. Let's say about roughly on average about 2% down. Take a look at how uh, the Western world is trading, the Americas, and we can see here that Brazil is down slightly. Canada is down about 1% and we see that Mexico down, Argentina down about 2%, S&P 500 down about 1.5 right now. Closer look at the US markets before with half a trading day to go, we can see that the biggest mover here is also crude oil, down about 2.4%, and the other markets for now are down roughly about 1% and a half, something in that range. Let's begin this weekend's world market analysis by taking a look at the S&P 500. Just want to point something here, S&P 500 with about, let's call it, four hours to go before the close of Friday's session. It seems more than likely that this is going to be a down day net net into the close of this week. Why? Because right now we are showing that the S&P 500 is moving below 50 on the weekly RSI. As it moves below 50, you tend to big, you tend to get a big move. And as we can see, down about three and a half percent for the week. So generally speaking, whenever you move below 50, you get a big swoosh. And now the key is what happens in the coming weeks is the S&P 500 going to be able to recapture the level back above 50 for a nice upswing. Uh, it remains to be seen, but for now, looks like into the close of this week, generally speaking, it's going to be a down week. It's, I don't see any recovery by the end of the day. Typical of a move when markets are moving below 50 on whatever time frame that you are looking at. All right, let's take a look at the Australian market on the daily. A couple of observations, just a simple line connecting the previous highs. On the daily, the market came here and touched that level recently and did show resistance in November. We also had top side RSI resistance. Simple line, market came here. We, we had been watching this. Market did show resistance. Since then, it's been lower. Also, this line here, that red line, which happens to be just at about 61.8 on the daily, has been resistance even recently, came here, the market came close to that level and showed resistance, and now we are pulling back. So now the question as we begin the new week is whether this is going to be support. Recent RSI lows on the daily could become support. It remains, remains to be seen. Also, we can take a look at the previous line that has been support on a short-term basis. If you draw the line somewhere around there, it was a nice entry off the lows here in late 2014 and the market had been using this for short term pause in any move low. So this has been an area for a swing trade sometimes to the upside and recently we touched that level which is here for a couple of days to the upside and now we are back to that level. So depending on what happens, this could be an area where the market could generate some slight movement higher, otherwise a break of those two lines, the previous short-term support line number one or also a break of this trend line here would lead to lower prices so either support for a slight bounce or break for continued move low if you take a look at the weekly chart things don't look that great keep in mind that over the last couple of weeks we've been talking about resistance coming back you can either draw it this way because this was the break point and the same line had become back test failure so that was a reason why we thought the market might pull back and seems to be taking place. Also, there's another line connecting the level where the market has been stalling. And I'll draw that here in a second. Somewhere around there. I can actually even extend it to this break. And let me explain that. Ever since we broke through this line here, so this break in a trend came here during this week, the market hasn't been back to that level. And since then, the 50 has been used by the market for resistance. You got double top here. And go back to the previous videos if you have time. And you'll see that we've been talking about this over the last couple of weeks. So really no surprise that this has become resistance again. Now, the key 
in my opinion, is whether the market can break below the recent weekly closing lows. So that's the key to watch here. Keep in mind some markets, as you're going to see in this video, have already broken down. So the key here is if the market can hold above 0 0.80. So that this is a previous weekly closing low. If the market jumps below that and cracks below that, one can expect lower prices. Otherwise, if the market can hold above that previous weekly closing low for 2015, actually the weekly, weekly closing low over the last two, three, two, two years or so, anything below that is bearish. Support above that line is bullish. And also the same price level is what the, weekly, the monthly chart needs to hold. So on the monthly, the Australian market needs to hold above the previous monthly closing low and again it's the same price range of 5060.80 anything below that is bearish and it's going to be not good should that take place be aware that this can lead to a major major drop because if you break to fresh three year lows that's a major sell signal we can see that the macd is already trading at three year lows and about to make a move to fresh three year lows that would be ultra bearish and the main macd just now about to move below zero if any of this rsi or macd indicators move to fresh three-year lows be aware that this market is going to be under serious threat of seeing major major uh, drawdown in terms of a major major move lower if we take a look at the chinese market and we can see that right here again just like we saw in the australian market ever since we can even call it ever since there was a break in a trend line somewhere here in July. So once we broke through that trend line, which is somewhere around here, the market hasn't been back to that level. And since then, the Chinese market has been using the 50 RSI level for resistance. So as long as it is trading below 50, we've been speculating that more than likely this market is positioning itself to go lower. It can, it can actually decide to go higher, but the first thing it needs to do is move above the 50 RSI level. Keep in mind the last time it moved above the 50 RSI level, it launched this nice massive move. Now the 50 level on the weekly RSI is being used as resistance, which generally suggests that we should still be expecting there to be some type of a pullback on the Chinese market. Let's take a look at Jap the Japanese market, the Nikkei, and just interesting point, you take a look at this intraday, intra-week low connected with this intra-week low, extend that. So those intra-week intra, intra -week lows points there. And this is a two-year weekly. And we come here to this break point. Interestingly enough, if we draw a line from that break point like that, we can see that this also became a resistance level. So the same break point in the, after a couple of months came back, was tested and became a sell signal. Also, we had drawn a line from the previous short-term break, so somewhere around here on the RSI, so let's call it there. And we were expecting a pullback ever since the market came back and touched that red line. So this pullback over the last couple of weeks makes sense based on our previous analysis. And also we see that this market has been struggling ever since the highs, either here, here, or here, you can see that it has been struggling to hold above this RSI line somewhere around there. So every time we move below this red line, we stall and move lower. And also this line here has been giving us short-term resistance levels. If you take a look at these three points, which I just drew here as the, as the recent intraday high. So that level is where the market has been stalling. So as of the last couple of weeks, throughout the month of November, question was whether the market was going to move above that red line. It has failed. Now we are coming to see that it is have to show some support around this 50-day moving average otherwise a break of that 50-day moving average suggests lower prices now if you take a look at a longer term monthly chart this is 13 years 13 years worth of monthly data and what i'm going to show you here is actually bearish if you take a look at the line of this rsi support line connecting the lows of 09 lows of 2011 and 2012 extended you can see that now this line has become a backtest failure area if you take this sell point by itself it suggests that month to month there is a bigger risk now that this market has seen the major highs of 2015 and more than likely more than likely the chances are that we are going to see a major bear market as we go into the next year 
if we take a look at the nifty we can see that also this market was suggesting lower prices keep in mind that we've been talking about the fact that about two three weeks ago maybe something in that range the 10 week moving average so the 10 week moving average for the nifty had already moved to fresh lows and because the 10 week moving average was already at fresh lows the suggestion there was that more than likely prices are going to have to make fresh intraday lows and that seems to be what is taking place so the risk was already built in for lower prices so this week's two percent drop mix is consistent with that analysis also right now what we can watch for here is the fact that on the weekly if the market continues breaking down to fresh monthly closing lows the level to watch there is 76 5505.05 so anything below that that's a fresh weekly breakdown suggesting that the risk is lower so as long as markets are trading below this price range expect lower prices if the market can recapture back above that price range which is the lows for weekly closing lows for 2015 maybe the market has a chance of moving higher now the biggest risk here is on the monthly this is a major major risk here and we've been watching this and telegraphing the fact that this could easily become a major major bear market situation because you can see here you're moving to fresh monthly RSI lows major sell signal which I call the ultimate more the sell signal also new move to fresh lows on the MACD and we haven't even broken the main MACD so there could be more downside based on this chart and also the fact that the monthly RSI as of right now is attacking fresh lows so fresh three-year lows is a major major sell signal so be aware as long as the market is cracking to fresh three-year lows on the RSI and MACDs that's the ultimate sell signal and also the fact that we are trading below the recent 2015 monthly closing low there and the level to watch there that we've been watching is 79 48.90 so anything below that and it has been trading below that most for the most part in 2000 for the most part in December so the risk has always been there this this month so the more it, tra it trades below the previous monthly closing low the more this market is gonna get in trouble now if you take a look at the short term daily chart and the hourly chart there's some sign that probably the bleeding might stop because right here we are seeing some slight support on the daily RSI if you take the recent daily lows the RSI seems to come to be coming back and showing some support level here so if you can hold about that it could start building on to this recent after this recent pullback otherwise a break of that trend line short term might be very bearish so we'll see what happens there on the hourly you can see a slight improvement you can see lower lows or the last week or so and a slight improvement in the RSI suggesting that maybe there might be some relief rally based on this positive divergence but again the key is what happens on the weekly chart if the weekly charts are breaking down the chances of a rally are gonna be mute so as long as the weekly chart is breaking down the risk is still gonna be to the downside and as long as the monthly RSI and MACDs are making fresh three-year lows, the chance of a strong recovery is really diminished. Let's take a look at the South African market, which for some reason seems to be leading markets lower, or at least tells to, seems to telegraph where markets are going. But you can see here previously, early on in the year, in July, it broke down to fresh three-year lows, and that was a signal that markets could get in trouble, and that has been the case worldwide for the most part. The same break line turned into resistance here in October and the market made a short term high and now we are breaking to fresh RSI lows and so that's a fresh sell signal suggesting that it makes more sense for markets to start struggling also. We are also moving below RSI 50 level on the monthly which might explain why it's down about 12% for this month. Also if you take a look at a longer term monthly chart let's go about 13 years on this market what we're gonna see here is the fact that it has been a major sell signal whenever for example this break here in 2008 so the break in 2008 was consistent with markets going into a major bear market in 2008 
Now, the same type of argument can also be made that we are breaking a major RSI trend line in 2015, suggesting that more than likely, the energies worldwide are gonna be pointing to bear market action, maybe as we go into the, the new year of 2016. So the odds here point to market struggling based on the previous market activity. Quick mention of the Nigerian market, and over the last three months or so, it's been trading with its RSI below 30.90. That's all you need to know that this is still a market that is gonna be in trouble. Until, until it can move above 30.90, the market should continue struggling. And here I'm using the ETF in the US NGE. Let's take a look at some European markets. We begin by taking a look at the London market, the FTSE, and a simple line right there. This red line just happens to be at about 61.8 roughly and the market had come here the beginning part of December. Once it hit that level, the suggestion was it was gonna stall. Why? Because it's been stalling on that red line over the last year or so. So this is where it's been making resistance levels and moving lower, even the absolute high here came at exactly about 61.8. And also recently we are seeing it break through this, this support line on the daily RSI lows. And we can see that it closed below 30.90 on its daily RSI, suggesting that still there's a lot of remnant um, forces taking the market low. Now, the key here is what happens on the weeklies and the monthlies. You can see as of the close of Friday, it is below the previous weekly closing low. And this weekly closing low, by the way, here, this weekly closing low is the lowest close in three years. So let me go ahead and show the three-year chart, see whether that is accurate. It seems to be a fresh three-year low. So we can see here that breaking down here takes us back to these levels here in beginning part of 2013. So about three years worth of um, weekly RS, uh, price lows. And so the level to watch here is this recent weekly closing low. And the level to watch there is 6042. Point nine two, and all these prices are going to be in the description of the video. So you can see anything below that is a fresh break. One can expect lower prices. Keep in mind that we were expecting a pullback based on the fact that the 50 RSI level has become resistance for most for many markets across the globe. So we were expecting a pullback based on the simple analysis that the markets seem to have changed their behavior over the last couple of months. On the monthly. The level to watch there is if the market continues trading below the recent monthly closing low. So here you can see that this monthly closing low goes all the way back to the beginning part of 2013. The level to watch there is if the market can stay above 6,061.61. Anything below that and this market is breaking down. In fact, the warning sign here is that it's not a good break because the RSI right now is punching to fresh lows and there's a risk that the RSI could move below 38.2 on the monthly. If the RSI moves below 38.2, expect something that many might end up calling some type of a crash type action. Whenever you're moving below 38.2, whenever you're making fresh three-year lows on the RSI, generally speaking, markets tend to behave as if they are crashing. So the risk here continues to be to the downside as long as markets is trading below that 6,061.61 level. Take a look at the French market. Just want to show you where the break took place because this is what we were watching. Sometimes it's good to go back and check what the analysis and if the analysis was accurate. So we, we had seen a break here on hindsight, of course. That break brought the market off this level. And so we can draw a line, which I call a uniformity line. Lots of educational videos on my channel on YouTube. And so we can see here about this. So once we broke down, this red line has become resistance in the market going back a couple of months. In fact, for the last six, seven months or so. So this was a double top, which gave you that high there. And also over the last couple of weeks, we've come here, hit that level. So this recent, this recent pullback is consistent with the fact that the RSI was struck. This is also consistent with our, our analysis on the German market because we take a look at the break, that break in the RSI in May or early June. 
brought the market off those highs and so we draw our uniformity line something like that and this has accurately given us short-term highs short-term high here during this move and also over the last week or so we had uniform action above the red line back below it for that high so lots of confirmation that our analysis was correct over the last couple of weeks and now that we are getting this pullback it just re remains to be seen how much lower the markets can go take a look at the Canadian market some observations from the previous analysis over the last couple of weeks trend line here became a problem the same trend line we were watching the market tagged that level and pulled back so that was easy to spot if I can say that and also the RSI top side resistance over the last couple of weeks, the market has been coming back, hitting that level, and here seem to have hit this twice in November, and now the market is down, which is consistent with our analysis also. So the, so the key here is what happens short term, if the market continues trading to fresh weekly lows, to fresh two-year lows, the level to watch here is 13, 339.7. Point seven four. Anything below that and this market is in trouble. If we take a look at the monthly, and the monthly is a little bit on the scary side, to be honest with you, this is not what the bulls want to see at all because we are breaking down to fresh three-year lows. Remember, we had already broken down to fresh three-year lows in July. So we are breaking down to fresh three-year lows and we are making a major mistake of cracking below 38.2 which is a major, major sell signal. We are also pushing the MACDs to fresh lows, another major sell signal. And also we see that the main MACD is just now breaking down to fresh three-year lows. So the main MACD is just now moving below zero and also making a move to fresh three-year lows. That's another major sell signal. And my interpretation of this was more than likely this, this the magnitude of this drop is going to be outdone by the next drop so we might get a bigger drop over the next couple of months if this analysis is accurate so the risk here continues to be for much much lower prices a quick look at the Canadian market and quite simply we can see that the break took place off the highs there was a break here in late April let's draw a line from there and this has been like magic once we broke down here, there was a slight resistance there in May for that high. And we were unable to move above that level here for these highs. And over the last week, two weeks or so, we hit that level for the high there. So the dailies were predicting uh, lower prices since those, that resistance line. And then also we are seeing that short term, the market needs to hold above, let's call it this line here. We can draw it roughly there. If this can hold, there might be a reason for the market to start behaving well otherwise if we go on to break this trend line here expect another slide in the market so we can also argue that over the last couple of weeks we've made a lower low with a slight slight improvement on the technical so that if you're looking for a reason why this market could bounce that there you have it so this needs to hold otherwise a break of this line might continue pushing this market lower let's take a look at the brazilian market i'm just going to show you one price level there to watch if the market can continue holding above the previous three-year monthly closing low and the monthly closing low there is 45059.38 and again the description should have this price range anything below that is going to be telegraphing much much lower prices otherwise support above 45059 might be suggesting the market has stabilized here so a break is not good obviously support is great so markets here uh, having to prove themselves are more than likely um, the pressure seems to be pointing to lower prices of course nobody knows the future in terms of day-to-day week-to-week but we can only go with what we see and what we see right now is more than likely markets are not behaving well and the odds are that the least path of resistance is lower Eric Mwadid, Mwadid .com. I keep you guys posted good luck enjoy your weekend and I insist you enjoy your weekend. Why? Why not? Why? I mean, why, why shouldn't you enjoy your weekend? I mean, it's the weekend. Eric Moade. Peace and blessings. E I C S. Mwah. Woo! Yeah! Woo! Woo! You, baby! Woo!
Yeah. Yes. Mwah. Mwah. Woo. Thanks. 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 Woo. Yeah. 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 Mwah.